What's going on guys? Just giving you a quick update on my aquaponics system. Um, it's been a while since I do a complete update. Uh, actually kind of in the middle of a um, work in progress type of deal. I've been having a lot of problems with the fish tanks shifting in the sand that we have here in Florida. There's the sand there. That's what we have. And it's just it settles and makes the tank shift and you put the pipes and levels and and everything gets messed up after a while so anyhow I um, haven't really been planting much this year because of that I knew I was going to do some updates eventually um, but you can see we have green peppers they never get more than maybe that big lots of oregano an avocado plant I started from seed in, a, in the house here's another one um, variety of mint, another variety of mint over there, some more oregano, um, those things just grow like crazy. Uh, some strawberries, these strawberries love the shade, um, this is the first time I'm growing strawberries and all the ones that weren't in the shade, they all died. It's uh, summertime here, um, good old June, temperatures reach an index of some 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, here's a, a um, basil that's gone to seed and it's just exploded I think that sucker is huge um, some lavender um, yeah cabbage that didn't quite make it in the winter and we were trying it for the summer and eh, yeah they don't work in the summer uh, those guys have been here for years um, some lychee pineapple more cabbage that's all burnt out, more oregano, pineapple, yellow. Um, I, know I, I know the pineapples that I grow here uh, or on my dirt garden, they're much, much, much sweeter and tastier than the ones um, that uh, I buy at the stores. So this is the first one coming out of the aquaponics. It's, I, I'm not sure when they're really yellow, I mean ready, so I got to do some research on that, figure out when the pineapples are actually ready. I did add this trellis with, for vine plants and that one too, um, but I haven't planted any vines for this year. Last year I had melons on them and cucumbers. They did great last year. Tons of cucumbers. Tons. Yeah. Anyhow, this is the temporary setup right now. I moved the fish tanks over here. Nothing's really glued in this area. Um, yeah, this is all just temporary. It's working, it's all I care about right now. They just empty right into the grow bed right now um, because this is where they used to be. And I just laid a, a, a concrete pad there um, to help with the settling of the fish tanks. So and there's one filter tank that used to be the radio flow filter. And the net tank is now being used as a support for this uh, pipe that's exiting the fish tank. Um, so the concrete just got poured today. I gotta wait three days for it to set and cure uh, before I start uh, putting things back. So that's it for the updates now, guys. Um, once I got more updates, I'll go ahead and uh, once I move on with the uh, re-assembly of the filter tanks and the fish tanks on the concrete pad, I'll go ahead and post up some more. All right, guys. I'm glad. I hope you guys enjoy. Find this. Uh, video useful subscribe comment and uh, if you have any suggestions throw them at me I'm all for it thanks oh yeah what's aquaponics without fish right yeah they're happy they're starving. Super starving. And they're not going to get food for another three days, minimum. Maybe more. Okay, guys. Till next time.